Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. We're going to make something a little bit unusual today. So this was actually a, I want to call it a gift from Michelle Grant, but maybe it's less of a gift and more of a, there's no way in hell I'm going to eat this kind of thing. So what we have here is genuine pork bung. Now for those of you who don't know what pork bung is, it is the essentially a rectum of a pig. And um, so you might think, well, you know, how common is that? Who eats that? Actually in China, this is a substitute for calamari. They cut it into rings and they sell it as cal calamari. So, um, so it is eaten quite frequently. This is, I think it's stuffed with rice. Uh, the ingredient, it looks like there's some sort of um, coating sauce or something on it. The instructions say to steam it, put it in a steamer and steam it until the internal temperature gets to 165, which means you've got to open up the steamer, stick the thermometer in, stick the, the thermometer in the rectum and see what temperature it is. So um, when it when it's 165, it's done. So I, I thought, well, I don't know if I'm gonna just cook this by itself, I wanna make something else with it. So I have some glass noodles. Uh, they're sweet potato glass noodles uh, and they're Korean. And I have some sambal sauce and I have some baby bok choy. So we are going to create a decent looking and decent tasting meal uh, featuring the main attraction, pork bung. So I might as well get started and get cooking. Alrighty, here we go. So uh, we have uh, baby bok choy. We have some uh, glass noodles. Uh, I've just put a little bit of goju chang, some black pepper on that, and kind of stirred that up with a little bit of olive oil. I, I put the sambal sauce on the end just so that I can dip if I want to. And then uh, after I steamed the pork bung, uh, I just put it in a uh, pan and I kind of uh, lightly fried it to maybe crisp it up a little bit. So I'm gonna try a piece by itself first and see how this tastes. Kind of fatty. It does have a crispy outside. It smelled worse than it tastes. It tastes pretty good actually. I have to admit, while I was cooking it, it tasted a little bit like, I mean it smelled like a little bit like somebody set an outhouse on fire. But um, but it's actually really good. Let's try a end piece. It's not stuffed with anything except maybe the last thing the pig ate. Well, it's actually pretty good. So let me try, dip a little bit in the sambal. It's got a kick. Okay, so let's try some. I'm gonna start with the greens on the, uh, bok, the baby bok choy little bit of the glass noodles and some of the pork bung dipped in the sambal. Let's try this. A little bit of everything. It's 
Yep. That's really good. That's gonna get a thumbs up for me. Again, not. Your mind kind of goes to like having a horrible taste. No, it really doesn't. It's really, like I said, it's kind of fatty and um, a little bit crispy and chewy on the outside and mixed with the glass noodles and the bok choy. That's a really good meal. So I'm going to give that a thumbs up. So thank you very much, Michelle. I mean, um, you know, I cooked some extra, so I can save some for you if you want. You have to let me know. But uh, yeah, I would, I would uh, thumbs up. I would have this again. Maybe not on a regular basis, but I would definitely have that again. So if you decide to try it, remember, it's crazy out there. So please be careful. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. And we'll see you soon. I got to have some more of this. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.